In this video, we'll be looking at how you can connect a personal Google Docs account to Flow in order to take advantage of that Flow Google Drive integration that the platform offers. So whether you are interested in connecting a new Google Docs account to a pre-existing Flow instance or you have a new Flow instance like I do here, um, the first thing you need to do is go to the Settings tab and then click on Google Drive integration. Once you get to this page, the first thing you need to make sure is that this toggle at the top, which enables Flow's Google Docs integration is turned on. And if that is the case, you can go ahead and then click on this button right beneath it to authenticate your Google Docs account. When you do that, Flow is going to ask you which of your personal Google Doc accounts you want to associate and connect with Flow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And then you're going to get this message just telling you what Snowflow is actually going to access within your Google account. Um, you'll see when you allow this authentication to take place, it allows Flow to see, edit, create, and delete all of your Google Drive files, including Google Doc documents. Um, we also have our privacy policy in terms of service linked at the bottom here if you want to review those. Otherwise, if you are ready to proceed with that authentication, you can go ahead and click Allow. This authentication process is going to take approximately 10 to 20 seconds, so just hang tight. You'll see when it does complete, the window is going to refresh. Um, you'll see if that authentication um, is successful, you'll have a message here saying so. And also you will see a button below to view that new Google Drive folder. So if I click on that, I can see here's that new folder in my personal Google Drive account. If I go to my drive, can see here it is. So the whole purpose of authenticating new um, personal Google Doc accounts to Flow is that you have more authority to um, grant or remove access to different users from accessing that content. You can also manage your content more directly within the Google Drive interface if you prefer to do that. One more thing, when you authenticate a new Google Docs account to Flow, you don't see that it's happening um, when that authentication takes place, but that folder, that new Google Docs folder, should automatically be shared with all of the users that currently exist in your Flow account. If for any reason you find that the folder hasn't been shared with them, what you'll want to do is just go through each of the user accounts within your Flow uh, instance, click on the user's name, and then re-click Share Google Drive, and that should ensure that all users or all members of your staff have access to those no that new Google Drive um, folder. So that's how you can connect Flow to a personal Google Docs account. And as always, if you have questions about that process when you're doing it on your own, don't hesitate to reach out to us um, via email at support at snowsites.com.